Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, Christmas is coming, so I thought I would do a Christmas Bolo video. So I've got quite a few up here, and we are going to move through them very, very quickly. So stay tuned for some great Christmas Bolos. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. And the more comments, the better. Uh, comments bump me in the search. So as you're watching the video, if you want to comment, you can. If you want to wait till the end, you can comment then. But the more, the better. And hit that thumbs up. All right, guys, let's get started. The first item, I think we all know about this one, but this one, look how much this sold for. $345 with 129 bids. And I, I don't know what this little thing is, if it's like a little tester or what, but all of these bubble bulbs, so they bubble up. You can see they're super, super cool, but um, they're definitely, definitely a bolo. Sold for $345 with 129 bids. The next item are these shiny, bright ornaments. Um, definitely be on the lookout for these. Condition is important. Also, just know that they're going to be hard to ship and you need to really protect them because they can be very, very brittle and break very easily. So definitely be on the lookout for them, but um, they're going to take some care or they're going to get damaged. These sold for $260 with 88 bids plus shipping. The next item is this mercury glass Christmas tree ornament. So my question for you guys, and I probably could have just looked this up, but I want you all to comment below if you have the answer. How do you know if something is mercury glass? Like, is there a like some sort of way to tell? Like, you know, you can test certain materials to see if there's certain things. Is there a way to do that? And I know I can Google it, but comment below. I need you guys to comment. All right. So this one ornament sold for $76.88 with 57 bids. All right. The aluminum, that's another word I cannot say, Alum, aluminum trees. All right. So here's what they look like close up. And that's the stand. But these branches, they all it on there individually but there's 120 branches on this two different sizes this tree went for and you can see it's not in mint condition by any means it went for 345 dollars with 57 bids and i have seen these go much much higher so definitely be on the lookout for these the little knee hugging elves so cute uh these are kind of like you know like a single one would go for much less but when you group them up together, like all of these sold, there's 12 of them for $180 with 53 bids. These are different. They've got the bright colored little outfits. I have a little red one that's listed right now. And I'm guessing I'll probably get 15, maybe $18 for it. Um, most of the time they're made in Japan, but they're worth picking up if you can get them for like a buck or less. That's my opinion. I mean, you could pay five and then. I mean, let's see if, if they're this fancy, I would go a little higher for sure. And these are in really good condition, but they're super cute. And you can see they hug their knees. That's why they're called knee huggers. The next item is this vintage Star of Bethlehem tree topper with the box. Super cool. This had 48 bids and sold for $173.50. And I love this. I would love to have this. I love it. I love it. I love it. The next item is the blow molds. And this looks like it's just um, a countertop one, which is super cool. The big ones that go outside, those are a bolo also. They're harder to ship, and a lot of people do local pickup on those. But this is like a tabletop one, and it sold for $103.40. The ceramic Christmas trees. I'm sure you guys all know about these now. They come in many colors. They come in many sizes. They sell with the stand and without the stand. If you find a stand, you could probably sell it without the tree. The replacement bulbs, you could probably sell those. So even if it's broke, if you can get it cheap, you can probably piece it out. But this one sold for $131.49. This is another item that can go very, very, very high. 
The next item is this little, um, it's a, a mug. And this is Lefton. It's hand painted. It's a Santa Claus face. And let's see, you can, it's got the sticker on it. That's how you know. But they sold this for $71 with 38 bids plus shipping. All right, so this is one of those vintage, um, it's a rotating color wheel for the alum, ah, that word trips me up every time. Aluminum Christmas tree, and I still didn't say it right. Just doesn't work for me. Uh, but this sold for $75 with 35 bids plus shipping. These are definitely a bolo. People want them, people want the trees. So if you see the light, definitely pick it up. The next item is, Okay, so these are eight vintage Madeira, Madeira, linen. I don't know what that means, but hand embroidered applique Christmas placemats and napkins. So these are very, very, um, very pretty. And they look to be in excellent condition. But these sold for $205 with 34 bids plus shipping. The next item is this Bradford motion star christmas tree topper it's an it's a tree topper ornament and it sold for 412 dollars and 97 cents with 32 bids this is another one that i would love to have it's so cool i wish i could see what it looks like like with the lights out because it's very 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 neat you can kind of see there but anyway tree toppers vintage tree toppers definitely a bolo the next item is this vintage Christmas blue on white reindeer soft rubber. This is only three inches and I have one of these listed right now, but mine is brown and he's kind of boring, but I've, I've had a lot of watchers and likes on it, but nobody has scooped him up. But if you can find the blue and the pink, those are the ones that people want. This sold for $53 with 31 bids plus shipping. The next item is this snow drift. So I'm not really sure if somebody's like trying to buy the packaging or what was appealing about this. I but it sold for two hundred and thirty two dollars and fifty cents with twenty nine bids. It says it looks like real snow, but I don't I, 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 I'm not sure. Christmas decoration snow drift. That one kind of was confusing to me. Let's see how many people six different people bid on it. The high bidder had 964 feedback. So, I mean, everybody bidding looks legit. I don't know. People like that advertisements. Old advertising. Okay, vintage mercury glass. Again, my same question is, how do you know it's mercury glass? Is there like a telltale sign? If you know, comment below. These are very pretty. They're um, bead garland, 24 feet. And it sold for $81 with 28, 28 bids plus shipping. All right. These are just the alumina, aluminum, jeesh, pink aluminum, <laughs> aluminum Christmas tree branches. There's 40 of them. These are vintage. These are just the branches. This is not the tree, just the branches. Look what this sold for. Nine hundred and sixty five dollars and ninety nine cents with 28 bids wow plus shipping now these are um 12 vintage flocked bottle brush christmas trees with a real wood base um yeah it's a bottle brush guys <laughs> that's so funny bottle brushes who knew uh there's 12 of them they're tiny these sold for $46 with 29 bids and free shipping. So that was definitely unexpected. I just picked up some of this. I'm not sure if mine are considered blow mold or not. They, they kind of, mine have a different look to them. I'll have to show you guys. And mine don't have the candy canes, but they are the same thing. It's like candy garland and mine's not very long. But this sold for $72 with 26 bids. They're calling it Vintage Blow Mold Christmas Garland Candy Canes Lifesavers and Balls. 37 feet. Mine is very short, unfortunately. The next item are these Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving Melted Popcorn Decorations. Sold for $79 with 24 bids plus shipping. This is one that I feel like has kind of gone down a little bit. Um, they used to 
be more of a bolo, but you can still get decent money out of them. So there was 10 of them. I mean, you can pick them up at garage sales pretty cheap, typically like 50 cents to a buck. So unless people know it's a bolo. Now these are pink flocked reindeer uh, made in Japan. These are in very, very good condition. Three of them, they're vintage, they're super cool. I have some brown ones that are flocked. Mine are not actually reindeer, they're just deer, but they're awesome. And I'm hoping that they sell over the next month or so. But these sold for $202.50 with 25 bids. The next item, okay, these are vintage Japan, made in Japan, pipe cleaner, bottle brush, Christmas trees. So this is kind of like the other one, only these are, they're super cute, but they're made a little bit differently. I would not have thought that this was a bolo. $83 they got for this with 23 bids plus shipping. Now, <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm, I'm loving the, the bottle brushes and the pipe cleaners here. 10 antique vintage Santa pipe cleaner vintage decora decorations. These are pipe cleaners. So somebody's handmade these. They're kind of cute. I don't know. I thought this was kind of a fun one. They only went for $30, but really, somebody paid $30 for these. So 23 bids plus $15 shipping, which seems really high. Oh, it's from Canada. That's why. Now, this is an outdoor nativity yard decor set. These are blow molds. These do go for big money. If you can find them for a good price, you will, you will make a decent profit. More than likely, this is going to be a local pickup item because, I mean, they're big. So this sold for $535 with nine bids. And you have to find a place to store it while you wait for it to sell. The next item are these vintage ceramic Christmas ornament figurine dolls, mid-century made in japan so made in japan these little figurines people collect them so all it says on the bottom is japan so definitely be on the lookout these sold for 350 dollars with 18 bids let's look at the bid history on this one eight unique bidders and the winning bidder had 6594 feedback the person before that had 3425 so these are real people bidding. Like most people that have that much feedback are not gonna skip out on payment. The next item is this vintage box full of 12 plastic Twinkler Christmas tree ornaments. So these are just plastic, guys. I'm trying to zoom in. All right. I wish there were more pictures, to be honest. I'd like to see what they actually like look like out. How are they like? a circle it's hard to tell really the shape so do they do something i don't know but they're pretty cool they sold for 256 dollars with 16 bids plus shipping and i'm guessing the person that bid them up to 256 dollars knows what they do whatever a twinkler is if you know what a twinkler is comment below the next item is this vintage lipper and man never heard of that japan Santa U.S. Mail tra Truck. It's a Christmas card holder and it's super cute. And I'm going to try and zoom in here on the. Uh... So, yeah, you can see it's got the sticker. Anytime something has a sticker like this, I definitely look it up. The next item are these 1950s Noma Christmas. Um, they're like candles and they've got the little holder and they have the original box. And these sold for $177.50 with 21 bids plus shipping. And the last item is this little vintage cat Christmas ornament. I just thought it was adorable. It's from the 1950s. I cannot believe it's still in one piece. It looks super delicate. It sold for $202 with eight bids. So definitely be on the lookout for unique ornaments. That almost looks like somebody took a marker and just painted that face on there. Anyway, super, super cute. And that concludes the video of Christmas bolos. I'm going to shrink this down a little. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. And don't forget to leave me a comment. Hit the thumbs up and share this video. If you have somebody you think would learn something from this, please share it. Uh, Twitter, it's real easy. You just go up there and you click share and you just tweet it.
I'm learning Twitter. I'm getting good at Twitter. I'm enjoying Twitter. I already have like, I think close to 400 followers and I just started. It's kind of like Poshmark. Like if you follow someone, they'll follow you back. I love it. So anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Links down below. All right. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.